All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you this really cool card trick using the two Red Kings. Now, uh, when you do this to the spectator, you're going to have them pick a card face up. So you'd have the deck spread open, and you could have them say stop whenever. And let's just say they said stop at the five of spades. So you tell them to go ahead, remember the five of spades, and you are going to be using the two Red Kings from the beginning over here to help you find the, their card. So to go ahead, we take one king, we take another. You guys can see there's nothing in between them. I go ahead flip the cards over, give the deck a shake, and one card actually appears in between the two red kings like that. Let's say I flip the kings over again, give the deck another shake, you guys can see the card actually vanishes. So uh, from here the spectator is probably going to think the card's somewhere near the top, so you can go ahead and you can spread out the cards and show them their card is actually nowhere near the top. Even if they think it's near the bottom, you guys can spread through the deck, show them it's not there, but in fact you can go ahead, snap your fingers, spread the deck, and their card is face up in the middle. So this is the trick, and if you guys don't know how to do it, don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. All right guys, so here's how the trick is actually going to work. So uh, the good part is there's actually no setup um, to the trick. So you can go ahead, you can take out the two kings whenever you want to leave these off to the side or have the spectator to hold them. Um, and then from here, all you have to do is as you're starting off the trick, you guys are gonna do something called the Browie reversal. And basically all you're doing is um, you're just going to be pushing over the top card with your thumb, getting a pinky break, and then doing a kind of like a double undercut, but you're switching this to a thumb break, and then you're going to take half the cards from the bottom, and instead of just moving them on top, you're going to flip the packet over, holding that break, and then flipping the other half as well. So now you have just moved that card to the bottom, uh, but flipped it over. So at this point, this is what the deck is going to look like and you just go ahead and swing cut the cards with your fingers like this and then you tell the spectator to say stop whenever and this is this is a truly free selection so they could say stop at whatever card they wanted to and let's say we have the six of spades right so all you have to do is put their selection on top so now you have uh, that face up card on the bottom and then their card here and from this point you say alright go ahead you know you could have picked any card and all you do at this point is an actual double undercut. So you go ahead, get a pinky break underneath the top card, and say, you know what, go ahead and remember the six of spades. And as you're telling them to remember the card, all you have to do is double undercut this to the bottom. And now you can flip the deck over. You actually have the spectator's card on top, and then that face-up card uh, right below it. So at this point, when you ask them to um, you know, give you back the kings, all you can do is riffle down the side and get a two card break with your thumb and you guys hold that and then that way you know as they're giving you the kings back you have just some time to misdirect them and get that break right there all right so from here you take each king you show them there's nothing in between them and then what you can do is as you put that king right on top of the break you say look there's nothing in between them put them here and then you take the cards from the break flip the entire thing over shake the deck you can spread over one by one, and then here's uh, here's what you have to do. So you out jog the top card right there. Okay, so there are cards. So you say, look, the kings have actually sandwiched your card, and as you out jog it, you're gonna push this top card flush with the bottom card because this actually isn't a king. So this comes in, comes flush with the bottom card. You show them the king on the bottom. Make sure not to flash this top top card. You say, all right, look, so your card has been sandwiched by the kings. And then you could just go ahead and as you're flashing the card to the spectator, you push over the top card on the left, catch a break, slide everything back on top of the break, square it up and say, look what happens if I flip the kings over. So now you grab it from that four card break, flip everything over, shake the deck and say, look, now your card has vanished in between the two kings. So at this point, you're left here and you say, you know what, you might be thinking the card is towards the top. So you can go ahead, riffle down a couple cards, make sure not to flash this one so you go ahead you start riffling down you flip over the top half and from here you go one by one with the card and say look your card is nowhere near the top and all you're doing is you're coming down until you get to the first face down card and be careful not to spread too much because this is going to be where the spectator's card's at you say look it's not on top and then if you want to you could show them you know the bottom half and say look there's no card near the bottom you make sure to put the cards back on top, and then you can just snap your fingers, do whatever, and their card is going to be in the middle of the deck, face up. So this is the trick, guys. I hope you guys like it, and as always, thanks for watching.